Hi friend, it's Alex and I'm here at Core PDX. Today I'm going to share three things that you should consider when you're about to film your first ever video. Before we hop into the content, I just want to say if you're new here, uh, thank you so much for joining and being here. If you get value out of this content, then definitely please consider uh, subscribing because there will be more videos just like this one. And if you have any specific questions about the content, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below. But let's get right into it. So the three tips that I'm going to share with you today is one, start with the insight. Two, back up your insight with personal experiences. And three, keep it short and simple. So point number one, start with the insight. When you're new to YouTube and new to filming yourself and creating content, it can be really confusing on like what do I even talk about or how do I even start? So one thing that's really helped me is asking the simple question, what is the insight that I want to share? In other words, what is something that I know from my own experience that I can share with someone else looking to do a similar thing? And what makes an insight really, really good and catchy is that it is actionable. So when the viewer watches your video and they get the insight, they should be able to walk away from your video feeling like, oh, I didn't really know that before but it's really helpful to know. And now I know how to do something after I've watched the video. So my first recommendation is start with your insight. It could be a one-liner that's really punchy and impactful. And then from there, work your way backwards. So think of maybe three to five different examples that really drive the point of the insight that you're trying to share. And that can help to serve as the outline of your video. Tip number two, back up your examples and your insight with personal experiences. There's a lot of really good general advice out there. No one's gonna be able to share the same perspective as you because you have your own unique experiences and point of view. And that's really what makes what you have to say really, really special. So lean into that, lean into your personal experience. Don't feel like my journey and my experience is not that important. It is, it's like the most important thing. So be raw, be genuine, be vulnerable. Be you. Tip number three, when you're starting off, it's okay to keep it short and simple. It can be really tempting to think that you need to cover all the bases, talk about everything and make your YouTube video like an amazing video that just covered everything. The truth is, it doesn't have to be that way. You can use your video, especially your first one, as a way to get a conversation started. As you put yourself out there and publish content, people will get curious about what it is that you do, and they'll start to bring up questions. And those questions can help inspire new ideas. And getting that kind of engagement and feedback is super, super important because that's going to help you understand what is it that your viewers are wondering about and what is it that they want more insights on. And as people start to share what it is that they're wondering, then you can get more and more in-depth and have longer videos about those specific things. So I'm going to follow my own advice right now and I'm gonna keep this video pretty short, but if you have any questions on starting a YouTube channel or filming your first video, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I just might take one of those questions and turn it into a full-on video and we'll go more in-depth about what it is that you're wondering about. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.